Welcome to our little farmhouse. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jenna Lee, and I am passionate about restoring home family and spirit through tried and true homemaking skills. Normally, we are in the kitchen, well, a lot of the time. But today, I wanted to take you around the farmhouse, show you some of my favorite thrifted finds and how it really makes our little home feel like home. But before we get started, I wanted to introduce you to a friend of mine, Sarah from Sarah's October Home. Sarah is a mother and a wife and a homemaker who loves thrifting, and she is so good at styling her home with thrifted finds. Her home is beautiful. It reminds me of something that you would find in a Jane Austen's book. After you are done watching this video, I want you to head on over to Sarah's channel and show her some love. Watch some of her videos. I know you are going to love her as well. It's fun to collaborate with friends who are doing things similar. So her video will be down in the description box below. You'll be able to find it there. So we're gonna start out in the dining room. This dining room has loads of character. And one of the things that brings so much character and functionality to the space is this secretary desk. Now this is the secretary desk top sitting on a dresser and I have cookbooks up above and in the compartment down below, I keep all of our homeschooling materials. This really is our main hub. I keep my calendar in here. I pull out my cookbooks and I plan meals. We pull out our school books and sit them on the kitchen table and do schoolwork here. We spend a lot of time right here at the kitchen table. And this is a beautiful piece that I feel like it looks like it's part of the house and it fits right in here, um, but it's really a piece that we just put together. Another piece I wanna share with you is this gorgeous farmhouse table that was actually built by the Amish a long time ago. This is the table that my husband grew up on. So it has a lot of sentimental meaning and we will be having this table for a long time and passing it down for sure. One of my goals is to get this table refinished. The benches and the tabletop especially could use a facelift. My kids have definitely done a number on this table and I just want it to last, well, forever. I like to look for things like this old vintage iron. I think there's actually an electric plug on this one, but I just keep it here on the stove and I like to pull it off the hot stove and iron out the tablecloth now and then with it. One thing I love about shopping in thrift stores and antique stores is the hunt of the find, looking for unique pieces that really make your home have a unique and special feeling to it. Nothing against Hobby Lobby and Home Goods and all of the places, but when you're shopping at a thrift store and antique store, you can find unique things that not every other home has. Shopping at antique stores and thrift stores can give your home a really collected and layered look to it. One thing that I love to look for when I am in the thrift stores are um, copper finds. I have a little collection of copper teapots that I have been picking up and I also have little jelly molds that I like to put on the wall. I haven't even shown you all the ones I have. I just have a couple here above the fireplace mantle, but I kind of like to switch them out seasonally. And I do love the warmth that copper brings to a space. I've also been playing around with color and patterns. And so I'm always looking for beautiful warm colors that I can add to this mustard yellow mantelpiece here. Things like this floral pink lamp that I added here for Valentine's Day and also this red candlestick. This painting is one of my favorite finds. This is an original oil painting that I scored at an antique store surprisingly for $25 which is amazing to find at an antique store. A lot of times antique stores can be so much more expensive, um, but this is a beautiful piece and I think it was just meant to be mine because it's gorgeous on top of this mustard yellow painted mantle, uh, which is the color amber from Magnolia Home. Some of our most cherished pieces in our home are actually pieces from 
our grandparents. Um, things that the other grandkids or siblings did not want. This is a very special chandelier. This was Jared's grandmother's chandelier. And I asked her if she wouldn't mind giving me this chandelier. And then she passed away and it came to me. So it does have some special value to it as well. And I recently picked up some extra little crystals from an antique store to add to it. On this other side of the dining room, there is this china hutch that was also given to us by Jared's grandmother and is filled with white china from England from his other grandmother that we received on our wedding day. And it's really special to us. The rest of the things in here are goodies that I have found thrifting. I love these colored goblets. They come in all of these jewel tones, blue and green and kind of a raspberry red color. And my kids love pulling them out on special occasions, holidays and birthdays. And since they're thrifted, I'm not too worried about them getting broken. Um, but I do like to look around thrift stores when I find another color that's in this exact design, I snatch it up. I must really like this amber color because I also snatched up this bowl with apples on it and this beautiful amber china. I've been thinking about kind of collecting those pieces as well. It's kind of fun to find a couple things that you love and start growing a collection over time. And then I also have some of these blue china pieces down below that I just like staging and taking photos in and putting on here for my YouTube channel. There's nothing like a classic white and blue china. It's just gorgeous. And that's just what makes thrifting and shopping secondhand so special. It's just creating and cultivating a collected home. Instead of designing a room all at once and buying everything all at the same time, you just slowly collect over time and you slowly create a style, really. The other things in the bottom of this china hutch are some serving trays. I glued some candlesticks and some trays together when I was coming up for something creative for Easter. But I do pull these out from time to time and you have seen them in some of my videos as well. When we got this china hutch a while back, I wasn't sure how it was going to fit into our current home, but when we moved to this little farmhouse just almost two years ago, I was amazed how perfectly it fits in this space. I mean, just look at the crown molding on it or the, the design of the trim work on the china hutch just matches the trim work on our windows just perfectly. It's like it was just meant to be. So now we're gonna hop back over to the dresser that's below the secretary desk. I wanted to show you another thing that I always look for when I'm thrifting, and that is linens. I like to look for beautiful tablecloths that are in good shape with beautiful fabrics and designs, and best of all, getting them for a really good price. I find that vintage linens, linens that were made a long time ago, were made very well. And you don't always find high quality fabrics these days, especially if you're just ordering online, you don't know exactly what you're going to get. And so this is one of my favorite pieces. This is kind of a French country tablecloth. It looks like it was block printed and it's my favorite. This is one of those spaces that I was not really wanting to show right now. It's not exactly where I want it to be, but I chose to show it to you anyway because, well, there's lots of beautiful things about it as well, even if it's not perfectly organized. Um, these are sheets and linens sitting here. This was a favorite I wanted to show you guys. I picked up this linen piece from the thrift store just the other day. I never see linen in the thrift store, and so when I see it, I grab it. And I don't think in this thrift store they quite understood the quality of this fabric 
but this is a beautiful piece of linen and it was only five dollars it's a hundred percent linen and i just don't see these types of linens in thrift stores so i definitely snatched this up it looks like it is a um a twin sheet and just the top sheet so i thought i would snag it and maybe use it for some sort of sewing project um it's just one thing i'm always looking for is good linens i actually just snagged some really cute um, vintage linens for Myra's bedroom and matching curtains and bed skirt. I'll have to show them to you, they're adorable. And I'm really planning on doing a total girls makeover uh, video. I'm working on it, it's in the process. We just ripped up all of the carpet and set up a new bed for her. So that is really a work in progress, but I'll show you some of the linens that I scored for like a couple of dollars over at this thrift store. Before we go to Myra's room, I wanted to show you this beautiful shelf that's in the bathroom. I picked this up on Marketplace for $75 and it makes a beautiful little shelf here in the bathroom. It's the perfect space. And I also have this antique mirror up here. It's really heavy, but it's an original and it's beautiful. And this bathroom does have a lot of character. I haven't quite got to designing it or painting it or anything. And I wasn't planning on showing it at all, but I wanted to show you how cute it is and some of the things I have in here. And uh, maybe someday I'll bring you up here for a little makeover as well. So the bedrooms upstairs all have these slanted ceilings, which I think bring a lot of character. They're really adorable. These windows are all low to the ground. It's so cute. These are the linens that I found for Myra's bed. I found a twin sheet set and it's just really soft and beautiful. The bottom or the fitted sheet is floral and the top sheet has this beautiful blue ribbon design with floral. Here is this beautiful bed skirt that is peach pink and green. And I have slowly been collecting antiques and things that would go in a little girl's room with the color scheme of peachy pink and sage green. These were the matching curtains that go to the bed skirt. This right here is a curtain. There are three windows in here, so I just absolutely loved the pattern on this. It's kind of a peachy pink with a sage green. So there's curtains to go. There is like, they came with more curtains, some peach curtains. I think these could be like really cute cafes. So I picked up all of this for under $5, including the bed skirt and the twin sheet, the fitted sheet. Um, I don't know it's just I think it's really special when you find things that somebody has made themselves you can tell that they're handmade and um, I love the sentiment behind that I don't know if I'm gonna use this teal one in peach but definitely loving this one and this is the one that's gonna go in the bedroom I mean this is adorable look at this this quilted piece so all of that matches the bed skirt and I think it's gonna go really good in here so I'm excited to show you guys in a future video um, this before and after cute girl bedroom makeover most of my daughter's toys are actually stored in bins underneath her bed but this is a beautiful piece that we're using to store some of her calico critter dollhouses and it looks like it's been hand painted on top and it has this gorgeous chippy paint look to it. And inside it has this floral contact paper. This is all original, just how I got it. I did pick this up on Marketplace and I really love the look of it. I'm just really trying to show you guys some of the qualities in our home that I fell in love with when we bought it. The doors, the trim work, the trim around the windows and the baseboards in the corners and I'll show you one of my favorite features that is actually here in the stairwell. In the stairwell we have these little, I'm not sure if they're copper or brass, but these little corner pieces that make it easier for sweeping and cleaning off the stairs. So 
dust and junk doesn't get stuck in the corners. I think somebody has gone over these little corner pieces with some wood stain so eventually these stairs will need to be refinished and I would really love to restore these little corner pieces. So if you have any good techniques for how to get stain off of metals, let me know in the comments down below. Here in our living room, everything is pretty much secondhand or thrifted, except for the couch and the coffee table. This is kind of a cozy little sitting room and I wanted it to feel really comfortable and collected and also beautiful. We have a lot of art pieces in here from places that we've traveled or paintings that have been given to us. We have a record player. The record player is actually new, but we bought this stand that holds all of our records in it and our record player. And I think it's just beautiful. And I remember actually buying this chair from a secondhand store in the beginning of our marriage. As I'm recording this video and looking at the things that we have in here, I'm reminded of how long we've actually had some of these things. Some of these things we picked up at the very beginning and we've had this whole time. This cabinet over here I picked up from a garage sale way back in Wyoming. I love how functional it is. And it's also primitive looking and beautiful. It looks like it really just came along with the house. Some of you asked about how to style tabletops or small tables. I absolutely love collecting old books. I do a lot with books. Um, something to elevate the space and kind of set little things on. And so you'll see me do a couple tables here as we're getting closer to spring. I'm adding a little bit of um, some florals and I do like to look for vases when we are thrifting. So um, I think it's pretty easy to pick up a cute vase, whether it's metal, uh, ceramic, or a china vase. There's lots of beautiful vases in thrift stores and antique stores. This little table with its little drawer just houses some keys and things that my husband puts in there when he gets home from work. I actually refinished this table when we first got married. I used to refinish furniture a lot more in the beginning of our marriage um, before we really had very many kids. That was kind of a hobby of mine. And if you noticed, I do have a light blue piano and I actually did strip that piano and stain it almost 15, well, about 14 years ago. Um, so that's super unique. I don't know if I would um, be staining a piano blue these days, but back then I thought it was very fun. A lot of the paintings on the wall in this room are actually picked up on our travels um, to the Mediterranean. So a couple of these are actually from Italy. You'll see the plates behind me are actually from Istanbul in Italy. Cultivating a home with used goods and unique finds definitely takes time and patience. A lot of time waiting and looking for the perfect piece to fit in the right space. I also think it's fun to play with the space and to move the furniture pieces around. If you pick something up from the thrift store, um, it doesn't have to stay there. You can always take it back to the thrift store, try things out in your home and always keep things fun. Well, this was super fun walking around the farmhouse with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. Go and visit Sarah's October home and give her a like and a subscribe as well. And I will catch you next week for another video. Love you lots.